Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my February update to the It's Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club that I co-created with Deb, and I have Deb linked down below. For this project, we came up with 30 prompts that are all about your pets. You can choose as many or as few as you would like to work on at a time. I decided to roll all 30 of the prompts in at the beginning of this project. If you would like to join us, it's open to anybody who would like to join. I do have all of the prompts linked or listed down below in my description box. You can check that out and choose products to work on. Before we jump into the update, I should let you know that I am filming this nine days early. By the time you are seeing this, I'm probably just getting back into town. I am going out of town for a week, so I have to pre-film. So this is the 13th of February, and this won't go up till the 22nd. So let's go ahead and jump in with my progress. As of the last update, I had four goals hit, and I have three more goals hit for this update. So the first one that I worked on is a product that always rolls away, lippies, mascara, etc. For that, I rolled in my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Oomps. As of the last update, I had used it 15 times to get down to here. I think it was here when I rolled it in the project. I used it four more and I am just about right there. So I didn't make a new mark. This is how much I have left, not a lot. And I'll give you a swatch of this. I'm actually wearing this in my waterline today. Very pretty orange shade. I like to wear this anytime I do a neutral eyeshadow look. Next is the Prompt Beagle. They are a scent hound, so a scented item. For that, I rolled in my Prideful Sage and Citrus Scented Hand Cream. As of the last update, I had used this 22 times and I thought I was down to here. I cut it open and it filled back up to here. Once I got all the product out of the top, I used it 26 more and this is now officially an empty. So I used this a total of 48 times in this project. I really enjoyed the scent of this. I think I still have one that's blue and another one that's purple. These are really nice. This is the first time I've used anything from this brand and I'm quite intrigued to try out other things. So that is goal number one that has been met. Next is the prompt Bichon Frise. They are a hypoallergenic dog, so a clean makeup or skincare product. For that, I rolled in my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I just started working on this over the past month and I have used it eight times so far. The formula of this mascara is nice, but I don't like the wand. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like. So depending on how you turn it, it has an hourglass shape to it, but then it has one row of bristles right there across the top that's like a comb for your hair. I mean, it is just a straight line of bristles, and this is so prickly. If you get this too close to your skin, it hurts when this wand touches your skin. I really don't like that. I've never had a wand that was painful to use. This one is painful, so I will finish using this up, but I don't like the wand. I love the formula, so. Maybe I should try using a different wand on it or something, but I will continue to work on that. The goal is to finish. Next is the prompt, Black Cat. Something that has black packaging, the product is black or it's a black owned makeup brand that is credit to Corey, or something that you feel lucky to own that is credit to Zoe. This is both. And for that, I rolled in my LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in the shade White. As of the last update, I had used this 34 times. I was down to here. I used it 11 more and this is an empty. You can see I have scraped the sides. You can see that I've tried to get as much as I can off the bottom. I got 45 uses in this project. I believe it was to this top orange line right here. So that's how many uses I got and this is an empty. If you saw my most recent low buy update, then you did see that I got a replacement for this already because I use it in almost every time I do my makeup. So that is the second goal that I have met. Next is the prompt cat litter, something that makes a mess, credit to Lynn. For that, I rolled in my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 Fair. As of the last update, I had used this seven times and I couldn't really make a new mark. I used it 11 more and now I am right there. So I have 18 total uses on it from here down to here. There is a lot of product in here. This has 0.7 ounces or 20 grams. It's gonna take me several more months to finish. Next is Catnip, a product that makes you lose your mind. For me, that is this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ice Dream. As of the last update, I had used it 14 times in this project. 
Over the past month, I've used it 10 more, and this is where I am. I'm hoping you can see that I have actually hit side pan all the way up here. I got every bit of product out of there that I could, and this is so pretty. It is one of my favorites. I know if you buy a new one, it is white, mine is discolored, because I tap it on top of my eyeshadow, and then I stick my finger back in there to do the other side. So there's a swatch of it right there. I don't care because it is so beautiful, and it has so many blue and purple and pink shimmers in here. It is gorgeous, so it doesn't make it look bad at all to have that little bit of discoloration in there. It is gorgeous. So in this project, I have used it 24 times. It did already have pan in it before this project. Project. Next is the Prompt Corgi. They have the cutest little butt wiggles. So a gel product or something that jiggles. So I rolled in the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. As of the last update, I had 23 uses on it and it was down to here. Again, I cut this open, scraped everything out of the top and put it in here and it was almost to the top of this portion right here. I used it seven more times and this is my third empty. So I got 30 uses on this in this project. I think it had previous use on it before I put it in here. I can't quite remember. So this one is finished. I much prefer the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk curling gel rather than this curling cream. So I use this one up and now I will just stick with the gel. So my third empty there. Next was the prompt Labrador or Golden Retriever. They are hunting dogs. So a product you had to hunt down or was hard to find. For me, that was this Laneige lip sleeping mask in the scent Grapefruit. As of the last update, I'd used this 27 times. I used it six more and there is still so much product to go in here. I love the formula of this. I'm at 33 total uses. It smells really nice. My lips love this. It stays on for hours. I highly recommend these. After that, I have litter box, an item you wish your cat would bury in their litter box. For me, it's foundations that are the wrong shade. So I rolled in my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 3.5. As of the last update, I had used this 16 times to get down to here. I've used it 10 more and you can see the jump right there. I try not to move this so that it stays settled and you can see exactly how much progress I have. I'm almost at the halfway mark in this bottle. Anytime I get discouraged and see how much product I still have to go, I like to look at where it started. I've made a ton of progress, so I'm quite pleased with myself. That is 26 total uses so far. I do have this on today. I mixed it in with the last little bit of this, so I will keep working on this with the new white foundation mixing pigment that I just purchased. After that, I have poop bags, something you always run out of at the worst time. For me, that is lash glue. So this is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive in Clear. As of the last update, I had used it 18 times to get down to here. Over this past month, I've used it four times and I barely have any progress right there, as you can see. So I didn't make a new mark. I have 22 uses on this. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I highly recommend that brand. Next is Poodle, a product that makes you feel high maintenance, a bougie item in your collection. And this is my Clarins Total Eye Lift. This is definitely a bougie item. It is very expensive. As of the last update, I had used this 104 times. Over the past month, I've used it 33 more. So I'm at a total of 137 uses on this. There is no way to know when you're gonna run out of the product. I did take one of these apart before in the past and once you pop this off there's actually a bag of product down inside this container so once I can't get any more out of here I will open that up and see if I can't get any more product out of here. I've used up about 10 grams total so far on this. We'll see if this is empty over the next month. I have no idea. Next is Pug, an item with cute packaging. For that, I rolled in my collab with Glam Light and Scooby-Doo. This is the Scooby Snack Lip Scrub. As of the last update, I had used it 27 times. I've used it 11 more, and I still have plenty of product to go in here. I'm down to probably about the lip of this container right here, maybe a little bit lower, maybe the top of this sticker. There is still so much to go for this. It has an okay smell. To me, it smells like butter popcorn. It doesn't smell like graham crackers. So I will keep working on this. Next is Scratching Post. Any nail product, a polish, cuticle oil, etc. I rolled in my Sally Hansen Super Shine Shiny Top Coat. As of the last update, I had used it six times to get down to here. 
I've used it three more times and I just made the littlest bit of progress. So nine total uses on this. I know my nails are not painted. I have not had time to sit down and paint them. Maybe I will paint them before I go out of town. Next is the Prompt Service or an emotional support animal. They are loyal a product that never lets you down. For me, that is a cream eyeshadow or a skin toned eyeshadow to set down my eyeshadow primer. So for that, I rolled in my ABH Norvina palette to work on the shade base. As of the last update, I had used it 33 times. And over the past month, I've used it 11 more. And this is where I am. I hit side pan on this. I'm hoping you can see that. I know there's rust in the pan like these typically have. I do need to repress this because it is getting very difficult to get product since it's all around the edge of the pan. I'm hoping that I can repress this and maybe have this as a goal hit for the next update. It'd be amazing to have another eyeshadow finished. And then the last prompt that I was working on was Shih Tzu Maltese, something small that has a big impact, a pigment, highlighter, etc. For that, I rolled in a highlighter from my Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Skin Frost Pro Palette. I was working on the shade Ice Cold. As of the last update, I had used it twice, and over the past month, I have used it twice more, and this is what it's looking like. This is the thinnest layer in here. If I use it one more time, I will hit pan. This is the highlighter that I scrape off into my lotions. So I have the feeling I will have pan in this for the next update. I am due to make a new batch of lotion. So I will definitely be getting more use on this over the next month. We'll see if I can't have that one finished for the next update. So I have hit my goal on three items. They are all empties. First is this foundation mixing pigment, this hair cream, from Not Your Mother's, and I also finished off this hand lotion right here from Prideful. So that takes me up to seven goals met for this project. For the next update, I'm hoping I can have this eyeshadow done right here, maybe this highlighter in here, and other than that, I don't know if I can have anything else finished for the next update, we'll have to see. That is everything that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this update. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.